The Blank Company brings you Darling and Deary, the first of a series featuring Alonzo Dean Cole and Mario Flynn. In this spot, we will present the advertiser's message. And now, let us meet Darling and Deary, a very newly married young couple from Goose Creek who are arriving in New York City to begin their honeymoon. too heavy for you. Oh, I no. just couldn't leave all our lovely wedding presents behind. No. We'll only pack a new electric toaster and the waffle line and the chafing dish Mama gave us huh? and the silverware from Grandpa and those mm. lovely books from Cousin Abby. Well, that's, and... that's all right, dearie. Mm -hmm. Your bags couldn't be heavy even if, if, even if Grandpa and Cousin Emmy was in them too. Oh, darling. <laughs> I can hardly realize that we've been married now for five whole hours. Oh, gee. Guys, ain't it just swell? <laughs> dog dog. Well, don't, don't look at me like that. Huh? People will suspect. Was I looking at you like that? Yes, you were. Well, it won't happen again. From now on, I'm going to act cold and distant. So they'll think we've been married a long time. Oh, is that how you're going to act when we've been married a long time? Oh, I mean the way ordinary people act. Well, we're going to be different. <laughs> we are different. <laughs> Darling. Dear. Oh, <laughs> my. Guys. <laughs> <sighs> Darling, huh? there's the street outside those do uh, those doors. Gee. New York at last. Come on. I'm coming. I'll hold the door for you here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that street, darling. Just look at that street. She huh? where's God? <laughs> sure different from Goose Creek. There's the skyscrapers. Just look at those skyscrapers. They certainly scrape. And the people, darling. Oh, there's millions of people. Gosh, what a mob. Say, there must be a convention going on here. Oh, if I thought I could always come to New York on my wedding trip, I'd get married every day in the week. Well, maybe I could stand it after I got used to it, but one thing they'd have to cut out is that custom of throwing old shoes at the groom. Oh, that's luck. Well, the luck part can be overdone. Some little person threw a horseshoe at me. Oh. Well, no use wasting any more time standing here. Oh, my goodness. No, we want to go places. we got to find ourselves a good place to live. <laughs> Isn't it thrilling? <laughs> and I used to say I was never going to get married. Just because you were born single wasn't any reason to stay that way. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a fast one, dearie. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm going to get taxi. A taxi? Well, you don't think I'd permit my wife to walk on her honeymoon? Oh, I'm just floating away. This is a big day for you, dearie. Oh, do you think we ought to be so extravagant as to pay a taxi fare? Extravagant? Why, when I take a girl on a honeymoon, money means nothing. Oh. My wife is going to live at the rate of 5000 a year oh. for a couple of weeks. Uh. Besides, uh, uh, well, these bags are a little heavy. Oh, be very careful. You mustn't let the taxi driver suspect we're newlyweds. Well, dearie, you're always saying that. Gee, I fooled him on the train, didn't I? Did you? Oh, 
Oh, good. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Remember when I when I went into the next car to get you a drink of water? Uh -huh. Well, I talked to the conductor. <laughs> oh, gee. You should have been there. Uh, what did you tell him? I told him we had a couple of children. You did? <laughs> and he swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> and you tell me to be careful. Mm. I talked to the conductor, too. <laughs> you did? Uh-huh. Well, what'd you tell him? That you were just a friend of mine. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'll uh, get a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. No, 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 never mind, Derry. <laughs> you helped with the conductor. Mm. Well, where are you going to have the taxi take us? To the best hotel in town. Oh. See, I've, I've heard there's a swell place here called the Mills Hotel. Oh. We're going to have a look at that. Is it in the Roaring Forties? i got to live in the Roaring Forties. Well, don't you think we'd better pick a quieter neighborhood? Gee, if they roared all night, you wouldn't get any sleep. Well, I don't want to sleep. I want to see the sights. Uh, we'll just toss those bags in the hotel and start right off. Oh, Walk up Broadway and down Fifth Avenue. Well, uh, oh, I can just keep going all night. Uh, uh Derry, mm -hmm? don't you think we'd better start in on our sightseeing sometime tomorrow? Oh, no, I want to see the nightlight. Well, you can see it much better in the daytime. Oh, we look at it then, too. I never want to sleep. No, no, no. Gary, I've got to take care of your health. Oh, I feel fine. Yeah, but after you get a good night's oh, rest... Oh, I'm not a bit tired. Well, uh, you can be tired without knowing it. Oh. Uh, Gary, the very last words I said to your mother, your mother, that noble woman whom I am proud to call by the sacred name of Ma, the very last words I said to your mother were, Mrs. O'Flynn, mm -hmm. you can depend on me to look after your daughter's health and see that she gets plenty of rest and sleep. Well, you wouldn't have me break my word to your mother, would you? Oh, certainly not, but I'm a married woman now. That's I... just the point. What? Little girl. Yeah? You're only a woman. You had just experienced the greatest event of your life. You've married me. Now, after all the excitement you've been through today, what kind of a husband would I be if I let you walk up Broadway and down Fifth Avenue all night and, 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 uh, uh, and get pneumonia in the damp night air? Damp night air? Yeah. Well, you never thought of the damp night air when you used to keep me sitting on our front porch until Papa told you it was time for the milk bed. Well, that, that was different. Is the damp night air here any different from the damp night air on our front porch? Well, no, Well, but... then what is the difference in the damp night air? Well, uh, uh, uh say, Derry, we're never going to have any disagreements, are we? <gasps> disagreements? Uh, we're going to be different from other married people. Oh, I should say we are. You know how easy I am to get along oh, with. Oh, sure I do, and I've got a swell disposition, too, oh, so... we'll never have a bit of trouble. The idea is ridiculous. Oh, it's absurd. Well, what's that got to do with the damp night air? Well, I was thinking that the best way for us to avoid all possibility of any difficulty is for me to decide what we're going to do. Well, uh, I, see, I, because I'm a man, and, and, and older than you are, and... And more experience. Oh, stronger, darling. Stronger. Don't forget stronger. That's right. <laughs> oh, you sound just like Papa when he talks to Mama. And everything you decide will be for my own good. Oh, exactly. And you don't think I ought to be out in the damp night air? No, sirree, I All don't. All right, darling, we'll stay in. <laughs> uh, gosh, Terry, I knew we'll that you... We'll stay in where it's comfortable and warm <laughs> and cozy. Uh... Well, you can hold my hand. Doggone. Without anybody seeing me. <laughs> Double doggone. Except the waiter. <laughs> well... Waiter? What waiter? In the nightclub where we're going. Oh, oh, I've just dreamed of going to a New York nightclub. Uh, but, uh, I'm so glad you decided to take me there first thing. Yeah, but, 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 oh, come uh, on, darling. If we're uh, lucky, we may see a murder. Uh, oh, Derry. I'd love to see a New York murder. All oh, the best ones happen in nightclubs. Now, 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 Derry, wait a minute. Well, Floyd, uh, you but, haven't changed your mind. Well, no, well, then I, I didn't. it's all settled. That's uh, but, what but, I like about you, darling. Uh, when you decide on a thing, you stick to but, it. Derry, oh, I adore I, a man of character. I, and you have it, darling. You I, have it. Oh, this you haven't any money. I just remember I gave my lap on that train. Your last nickel. Of my chain. You don't think I carry all the money I've been saving to give you this jealous place like my pocket, do you? <laughs> Not gangsters. Well, where do you carry your money? In a good... You, uh... You don't see our gunman, do you? No. No one who looks very much like one. Come real close so I can whisper. Yeah. A good, slick New York gunman may not look like a New York gunman at all. Well, where is your money, darling? Derry? My Aunt Pansy sewed it inside my shirt. Inside your shirt? Shh. Yeah, inside my shirt. You married a careful man. Well, isn't that a, a kind of unhandy place to get up money when you need it? Yes, but 
Church has la femme, as them old Latins used to say. Well, what? Well, that, that, that means safety first, last, and always, dearie. You know, oh. I've studied up on Latin, oh. and that's my motto, church has la femme. Oh. Now, what kind of a man would I be if I brought you to New York on a honeymoon and a racketeer or something stole all my money? <laughs> Aren't many men who'd think in advance like that. No. Especially on their wedding day. No, darling. Most men get nervous and excited when they get married. Yes, darling. But not the man you married. No, darling. Keep cool. Think ahead. That's another of my models. Oh, no, darling. Huh? Oh, but I mean, yes, darling. Uh, well, I, I guess we'll have to forget about taking a taxi. <laughs> See, I won't be able to dig my money out till we get to our hotel. <laughs> we can still take a taxi. Huh? I have the money you gave me before we left home. Money I gave you? <laughs> of course. I know you weren't nervous or excited. You were probably thinking ahead when after the ceremony you kissed the minister and handed me $10. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, if I did that, Barry, it was on purpose. Because I knew we'd need money for a case like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll right. get that taxi. Sure. I'll put the money in my pocket. Well, folks. get it out. <laughs> Where's my pocket? Where? Where's my... Well, 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 what did I do with my pocketbook? Well, what did you do with well, it? Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I've, I've forgotten. You forgot? I was so nervous and excited about getting married that I guess I just forgot to bring it. Well, it's a good thing I didn't let a little thing like a wedding upset me. We'd been in a fine predicament if I'd forgot to wear my shirt. Hey, darling, I've never been married before. Oh, <laughs> now, don't let it worry you. <laughs> never mind, dearie. You learn to stay calm under any circumstances after living with me a while. And there's no harm done, because I got $187 sewed in this new blue shirt Aunt Pansy made me. New blue shirt? Yes. I had to sew it in this, this one particular, because blue's the color of forget-me-nots. But you have on your old pink shirt. Huh? Oh, my gosh! Sorry. I changed my shirt. Where is your money? Home. In Goose Creek? In the laundry. Oh. Don't worry, dearie. Don't worry. I'm with you. What are we going to do? Just remember that we're different from other married people. Remember we made up our minds to never disagree. I never heard of such carelessness. Changing your shirt. Oh, gee. I've never done such a thing before. And so begins the honeymoon of Darling and Deary, that dizzy little couple from Goose Creek whom we shall find tomorrow at this same hour precisely as we left them, penniless and woe-be-gone, outside of New York City's Pennsylvania station. The commercial credits would be given here. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.